Hi, uh, long time no see. <laughs> Long time no see. Uh, should I explain? Should I apologize? I think I should just apologize. I'm sorry for the inconsistency. Hopefully, that's the end. So, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nena, and I film about fashion, lifestyle, skincare, and you're welcome to another video. So, in today's video, we have another tutorial. So, you know how we just jumped into. Victorian corsets just like that without any basics. This video is going to be teaching one of the basics which is how to draft a basic bodice pattern for both the front and the back piece. So yeah, yeah, let's go back to the basics. Um, so um, if you are interested in learning how to do that, stay tuned, watch the video, Pay attention to details so that, so that you don't get lost along the way. But even if you get lost along the way, you can drop your questions in the comment section and I'll be willing to answer each and every one of them. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Enjoy! We're going to go ahead and mark our horizontal lines. The first line you see at the top is the starting point. And next, I'm going to mark my bust line at 10 inches, um, waistline at 16 inches, and the full length line or the hip line at 22 inches. I'm just going to join those lines using my ruler and I'm going to label them as well. I'm going to be marking my neck measurements. For the width, I'll be using six inches, but because it's on fold, I'll be marking three inches. For the depth as well, I'm using three inches. You can use higher or lower depending on the type of neckline you want. There are different types of neckline. You can also decide to do a V neckline, a square neckline. It's just dependent on what you want. So I'm going to be joining those two points using my curved ruler. And there we have our round neckline. Going to be marking my shoulder measurement. My shoulder measurement is 14 inches um, divided by 2. I'll be marking 7 inches there. Um, to mark the shoulder slant, I'll be coming down from that point by one inch. We'll join that to the neck point using a straight line. I will be marking my armhole length, um, which I got by dividing my bust measurement into six and adding 1.5 inches. So I did 33 divided by six plus 1.5, giving seven inches. Now this particular line would also serve as our test line. So I'm going ahead to mark that across and then I will join with a straight line. Next, I'm going to be joining a straight line from this shoulder slant to meet the chest line. And then I'm going to get the middle point of this armhole um, line which is 3.5 inches. I'm going to mark that and come in by 0 0.5 inch to get the shoulder curve. Now on the chest line, I'm going to be imputing my bust measurement divided by four, which is 33 inches divided by four to give 8.25. Now I'm going to be using my curve ruler to join these three points to get the armhole curve. Next, I'm going to be marking my darts. So to do that, I have to mark my bust band measurement, which is 8 inches divided by 2, marking 4 inches on the bust line and on the waistline and on the full length line to join with a straight line. Next, I'm going to go to the waistline and mark 1.5 inches, which is 0 0.75 inch on both sides. I'm just going to cross check that before I join these two points to the bust line.
and on the full length line i would be coming up by one inch before joining those two points to that one inch mark like so so after successfully marking out the dots, I'm going to be imputing my waist measurement, which is 28 inches divided by 4, giving 7 inches. I would add the 1.5 inches we took for the dot. And for the hip, I would be using 38 inches divided by 4, giving 9.5. So I'm just going to join from the chest line down to the point we marked at the waistline and down to the hip line. And there we have the front panel of a basic bodies pattern. So for the back panel, we are basically going to be doing the same thing. But the major difference between the front and the back panel is the zip allowance and the neckline. So the neckline for the back is usually higher than that of the front, but they have the same width. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw out my horizontal lines. Um, we already did this for the drafting of the front pattern, but you can just follow the video. It's basically the same thing. So I'm just going to draw a straight line on this edge to mark the zip allowance. The zip allowance is at the middle of the back. So all our measurements would start from this line. So going ahead to mark the neckline, I will take 3 inches width, which is the same as the front. And for the depth, I'll be using 1.5 inches. I'm just going to use my curved ruler to join that now. So I'm just going to go ahead to do the whole shoulder measurement and drawing of the armhole. Just like we did in the front piece, I also drew out the bust line. If you get confused, just watch the front piece part and I'm sure you would not be confused. Um, next up, we're going to impute the dart for the back, which is basically the same thing as the front. So we're going to be taking 0 0.75 inches on both sides like we did in the front and joining like so. So I'll go ahead to impute my waist measurement and my hip measurement. Don't forget to add the dot intake and then I will join like so. And yes, we have our back panel. So all you have to do now is to trim out and then you can place on your material to cut. I won't be cutting this out because I did the drawing on the same side of the pattern paper but once you cut out the excesses place on your material and cut and that's it okay, yes i'm back so this is the end of the video and i hope you actually learned and i hope you actually got your pattern piece right um yes feel free to drop your questions in the comment section don't forget to like don't forget to comment don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and yeah Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one. Bye.